Widows, I introduce you to the King of Atlantis. Salutations, fellow widows. It is I, RJ Snow, the bitter snowman. And once again, welcome back to my channel. So, widows, yo, the reports are saying that Aquaman, the movie, is a fantastic film. Like, it's awesome. You know what? I've been waiting for this for a long time. Um... Kind of like Black Panther, you know, like the king of his own world, of his of his own kingdom. Like these movies, I think, will be the the outbreak this year. Like uh, Black Panther did his thing in Marvel. I think Jason Momoa, his solo film, is going to do numbers and blow everybody away because I really think that this might be the best DC. EU movie to date when it comes out. I don't know why, but I just have that feeling like it's going to be that good. All right, but let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on with the Aquaman standalone film. <laughs> All right, so while we have yet to see any official footage from DC's Aquaman, the latest report suggests good things for the upcoming solo film. On a recent episode of Collider Movie Talk, John Roker briefly spoke about whether or not Aquaman is being received posit positively behind the scenes. According to Roker, he's hearing optimistic things from one familiar source, DC Comics writer Mark Andreco. Nice. I was talking to Mark Andreco last week. This time last week, Roker explained, and he said, I'm hearing rumblings that it's a fantastic film. So he, through his connections at DC, has access to people who have seen it and have said the same thing. Okay, this is good. This is real good. Especially coming from a DC Comics writer saying it's a fantastic film. Like, that's big because the writers of most uh, characters, they are very nitpicky about uh, their characters that they wrote about and had success with. Uh, going into live action film. So seeing a DC writer saying that this is an awesome film, that's 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 good standings right there. Let's uh go on, okay? So, alright, so it's safe to say that hopes are high for Aquaman, both for diehard DCEU fans and those burned by some of the franchise past films. And it sounds like the film's cast shares that optimistic sentiment as well. It's going great. Yaha Abdul Mateen, who plays Black Manta, woo, revealed last year, okay? The scale is epic, and this movie is going to be so good. I can't say too much, but in the hands of James Wan and with Jason Momoa at the helm, I think people are going to be really happy with it. So, like I said, uh, Black Manta is going to be the main villain of Aquaman. That's, that's why I'm super hyped about it, because... Black Man is one of those villains that has a past that's so in deep and in depth that it could bring a lot to this movie. So having said that and having the report saying that it's gonna is a great movie and having a DC writer, Andreco, saying it's a great movie. I can't wait for it. I'm already hyped. <laughs> I'm already hyped about this movie. I think it's gonna be one of the best one one of the best superhero films of this year, okay? You know, I, I know, and they got some competition with Black Panther, Infinity War, Deadpool, you know what I'm saying? But I really think something, I like, I really think, like, Aquaman is going to be one of those films that everybody's talking about. So, I don't know. <laughs> but hopefully they won't uh, prove me wrong <laughs> and it don't be good, but... I'm looking forward to watching this film when it come out. But let me know what you think about what the reports are saying about the Aquaman film and how do you feel about the casting? How do you feel about uh, the pictures and, and everything that's going on around this film? What do you think about it? Okay, let me know in the comments below. Like always, y'all, favorite weirdos.